guys we're back on the build uh i decided i'm gonna change something there's one part of this build well there's several parts of this model which have always annoyed me i've already addressed some of them uh and now this is the latest thing that i'm going to address we're looking at fiero gray here which is basically the test shot build of this kit in which case all we did was build it as it can comes right out of the box not making any changes so that we see what the finished product is as it was designed. And one of the things that really bothers me about this kit is this wing. Do you see this wing? Look at the shape. It is completely wrong. This wing is more reminiscent on what would be a third generation F body. And for anybody out there who doesn't know what an F body is, that would be a Firebird. 80 style Firebird, uh, which you would know as the Knight Rider car. Now, this wing does not belong on this car. I don't know why this is the wing that they included with the kit, but uh, it is what it is. So, Fiero Gray will have this wing on it, and that's not going to change. But for the other two Fieros, we're coming up with something a little bit different. If you've watched on the channel, I've built the monogram version of the 1985 Fiero. And that one actually does have the correct wing in the kit. Now, look at the difference there. The monogram kit has a much more realistic depiction of the wing than that one. I mean, look at this. It's not even close. That's very, very disappointing. So, I decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another rear wing for this car. Can't put this one on. Can't put this one on because this, it just really bugs me. Just like the wheels, the way they fit the model really bug me. The ride height bugs me on this. Just a lot of things that bug me about this car. The mirrors being another thing, but we'll address that in a future video. So, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make another wing using this one as a template. So, let's get this out of here. Now, I've already gone ahead and made one. So, I want to see you guys to see what the finished product looks like. Before we go ahead and make a new one. This is my wing for this these models now this is just a prototype one it's not 100% perfect still needs a little refinement to it but it did come out very close to uh, what I want I even have the edges rounded off in the direction of the airflow which means that they round it off in a downward direction here and upward here, just like the real wing. We have the folded over ends of the wings that angle forward. It's got the slight curve, just like the monogram wing. So it is almost an exact duplicate of the monogram wing. The one thing I did change was that I rounded off the ends. As I always thought the monogram wing, the ends were a little too sharp. Looks like somebody walking beside this car as it's moving are going to get impaled. And on the real car, it's nowhere near that sharp. So I rounded that off a little bit. On each side there. And um, it actually came out pretty nice. So let's position it on the car here so we can get an idea of what it looks like. Or what it's going to look like. Now that is what a Fiero rear wing should look like. So we still have, still have to figure out the wing stands. And the proper height for the wing. But this is what the wing should look like. So now that we've talked about what we're doing. I'm going to show you how we did it. 
Anyway, now the first thing we're gonna need is a piece of sheet styrene. Now I went ahead and found a sheet that is approximately the same thickness as the wing. So that allowed us to keep the dimensions of the wing as far as the thickness goes pretty accurate to scale. Now the one issue is this wing is 124 scale while the NPC model is 125th scale. But I found that that one scale inch of difference really doesn't matter when it comes to this wing as it doesn't really look oversized on it. Uh, so we're going to overlook that part. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to get our measurements for the wing. And that we're going to do, we're going to keep, let me, see, uh, let me see if I can get this in the camera here. We need to make our main body of the wing, we're going to cut out longer than what it is because we're going to have to fold over, fold over, and then we're going to have to cut in to make the wing angle forward. So what I like to do is I place the wing in, I put the tips, the forward leading edge of the wing to the edge of the styrene. And then to get the same curve as the body of the wing, um, whoops, we can't have that move because it's very, very important. I'm going to go a little bit further forward here, just almost at the edge of the styrene. And then I'm going to use my Gunda marker. And we're going to draw out the body of the wing, which we have here. Now you notice that it does have a bit of a curve to the body of the wing. That's very important because in order to keep it at the same curve to the body in relation to the body of the car. We've got to make sure we got that curve right. It can't just be straight across, not like the wing that, well, even the wing that the car comes with has a bit of a curve to it. As you can see, it does actually follow the curve of the body. So now that we have the main body of the wing drawn out, we're going to go a bit further here and here just to make sure that we can cut the plastic right where we need it see and then the bend of the plastic starts here and here now what we're going to use is we're going to use this as a template and we're going to fold our sheet styrene in relation to how the wing well, you'll see. I'll show you. I can show you better than I can explain it. All right. So now we have the main body of our wing. We're going to cut this out of our sheet styrene. Okay, so this gives us our rear curve of the wing. Now we just match it to here just to make sure we have our dimensions correct. And we do. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold over the two edges of the wing. Now for that, we're going to need some heat. So let me get the heat set up and then we're going to get going with this. Now to provide the heat, I'm going to use my handy dandy little power probe soldering kit uh, torch as it gives us a nice concentrated exit point for the heat right here at the tip. So I can control exactly where the heat's going to hit the plastic 
as it comes right out of this small little opening here. And that would allow me to uh, line everything up so that I can get the fold precisely where I want it. Now, but before we do that, I need to make some alignment marks so that when I attached the wing, when I bring it to the wing to fold it over, it's going to line up and get it, then get the fold exactly where I want it. Now, you're going to have to work kind of quickly because you don't want the plastic to cool down before you get a chance to make that's going there that's going there so now we'll know exactly where to line up our wing right to the edge lined it up to those two points there and everything should go exactly where I want it all right so now we're going to turn on some heat. All right, guys. I'm not sure if I filmed all of that. I might have had a mishap with the with the camera. So we're going to go over it. Luckily, we have another end of the wing to do this on. But as you can see, I'm applying a little bit of heat. Folding the sheet styrene over the wing. see how the new styrene now has similar curves to what's going on with the red wing here so we're almost perfect there I'd say almost because there's nowhere you're gonna get it 100% doing this by hand now 3d printing these wings that would be a whole nother thing all right now that we have our bends where we want them, what we're going to do now is we're going to and just make sure we have their bends right where we want them. And that's good there, I think. And that's good there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is draw out the rest of the wing. Just put our alignment mark t together. That's one side. Okay, and that's the other side. Now we're going to cut it out, and hopefully we'll get exactly what we were looking for. Yeah, I think we got it. This is the raw wing right here. which is now going to require this is where we go through the cleanup process now we're going to start I mean, a bit of sanding, bit of cutting, bit of making everything line up just right Okay, 
Okay, now that we have our basic shape, what I have to do now is I have to give it the rolled edges now in the direction of airflow, which means it has to roll over on the top toward the back and from the bottom going up. Well, how can I describe this? The air has to come up this way, so we have to have an angle this way at the rear of the wing. And the air has to go over the wing this way, so we have to have an angle this way on the top of the wing. Now, the way that I did that was, basically, I just came and used my, my knife to shave the edge of the wing at an angle. Now that's going to thin the end of the wing a bit. It's going to round off our edge and give us more of a finished look. And then we're going to come in with our sandpaper and sanding at an angle so that we keep the same direction of the cut. So that it stays sharp on the top but angled on the bottom. So now you can see how the edge of the ring is rolled in an upwards direction. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Let's see if I can zoom in and make it a little. You see that? How it's. Let's see. How the edge of the wing is now rolled in an upward direction, which is basically the direction of the airfoil. Now we have to do the front part of the wing rolled in a downward direction, which is also going to smooth it out and give us a finished look to the wing. Alright guys, here we have the second wing. Are they 100% identical? No, they're not, but they are handmade, so... They're going to be a little bit different from each other for the most part. They look pretty good, I think. Let's just test them out. Here on the car, there is a new one there. Hmm, I do think I'm going to have to bend the end of this one over just a little bit more. Or maybe not. So they may not be 100% exact, but they are much better than what came with the car. I am very happy with them, and I think that from here on out, 
when I build one of these, this is what it's going to get. You can see it does match pretty well with the original. this one even better so there we go now we just have to make the wing stands to attach them as soon as I figure that out we'll be back all right guys now we're going to figure out the mounting points for this wing and for that we're gonna bring Fiero Red out with it it's newly polished out body came out really really nice and what we're gonna do is we take the original wing and we snip off the ends of the wings as all we need are the stands now in order to keep everything aligned I'm going to leave the center part here and we're going to take a little Mod Podge and we're going to glue this in here temporarily I'm using the red one because it'll be easier for you guys to see that just have to find the Mod Podge, here it is Now we're going to just glue the wing stands in temporarily into this deck lid we have here. There we go. A little Mod Podge on the bottom there. And now we're just going to glue the pegs into the mounting holes. And we're going to wait for that to thoroughly dry. And this is going to help us align all of our wing stands to the car. Alright guys. I'm going to show you how exactly I am attempting to attach the wings to the car. Right now we have a couple of extra rear deck lids. And what I did was I cut the ends off. I think I said this before. Of the uh, original wing. Just leaving the center portion and the two stands. Now that I have temporarily attached with the Mod Podge to the deck lid. And, and this gives me a, a mounting point for the wing. Now, in the final step, I'm going to be cutting the center portion of this out. So we don't have it hanging under the wing. But until then, I'm using this to help me align the wing to the car. As you can see here, the wing is attached and it's aligned to the rear of the car, which is it should be, while not overhanging. Just make sure we don't knock it up while not overhanging the body too much. And just floating right above the body. And you can see here how I used Mod Podge to attach it to the uh, original wing. And you can see the original wing underneath in red. That's why I use the red one. It's easier for you guys to see this. So what I'm going to do is cut out that center portion once the Mod Podge dries and then I'm going to go over it with the Tamiya Thin Cement and once all of that cures I cut the center portion out and we'll have wing stands for the car for the wing. Whoops, almost dropped it which would be a bad thing. And I think a much better solution than what came with the kit. May not be perfect, but it's much more accurate. And then it's off the paint and we'll be done with this portion. So what do you guys think? Uh, you think my solution to the rear wing is uh, worth all the hassle? And here's how we'll be attaching. Again, this is how I attach the wing to the car. I center it once it's on the body. I think I really need to cut the center part out because it's not really visible once the wing is sitting on the car, but...
oops, and I just knocked that off. Mod Podge does take a time, take a little while to dry, guys. So don't be impatient like me. No, you are going to need to. The Mod Podge I apply to the top is just to hold the wing temporarily until I can get the Tamiya Thin Cement to really fuse the parts together. All right, here we go, guys. We have a quick mock-up of the wing on the body so that you can see it in its final position. And I think that this is gonna work out great. As you can see, it really does have the very similar look to the real wing. And now we can see it next to the one that the kit comes with and you can see that they are worlds apart. I think that this is definitely an upgrade that's well worth it. Because when you look at it, there really is no comparison. So I'm very happy I went through all the extra effort on this one. And now, just have to get the paint ready. All right, guys, I couldn't help myself. I had to throw a little paint on it and just put it on the car just to see what it looks like. And I am very happy with the result here. You can see it's in very much in the style of the original wing on the real car, as opposed to what the kit brings. And here you can see them side by side. And uh, there is no, no comparison. I am gonna have to rework the paint on this as I had a weird little reaction I think it's because the can was a little low and I some of the propellant came bubbling through. So I'm going to wet sand that. Hopefully I can save that and I won't have to strip it and repaint it. But I just kind of had to see what it looked like on the car. Again, not being patient. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. And we'll give you a quick look at the red one. And we're going to call it a wrap for this episode here and on the next episode we'll continue with this build as there are a couple of the more a couple of other changes that i want to make to this kit before we're done with it and then we'll be back on fiero red with all of its assembly and pretty much duplicating what we did on fiero blue all right guys that's it for this one i'm not going to show you the whole car because i still want to just save the reveal for when the car is done so uh we'll just look at the back all right guys i guess i'm going to see you on the next one and remember like subscribe hit the notification bell all the yada 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 youtube stuff and let's keep trying to spread the word of the channel all right I'll see you on the next one.